Hi guys, uh, welcome to the module eight of Facebook marketing. So this module is about Facebook Messenger. Okay, how to connect with customers via Facebook Messenger and how to engage them via Facebook Messenger. Okay, so the goal of this module is to use Facebook Messenger to connect with your customers and engage them. Okay, very simple. Now, what are the things which we'll be covering in this module? Uh, essentially, would be to understand the importance of Facebook Messenger and how to use it for engaging customers. How customers will find us via Messenger? Okay, we will understand the technicalities of it. We'll also be understanding the Messenger for customer relationship management. Okay, how it is a free tool available for us in a lot of ways. to engage connect and build customer relationships and how to track and learn about messenger insights okay how are we doing measuring okay on messenger okay so let's start with uh, you know using facebook mess messenger to engage with customers now earlier how did businesses keep in touch with the customers in the past uh, uh, before the digital came into picture i mean obviously the customers need to visit the shops or they will call their they will call the customer care numbers okay which still they do but these days because of the digital medium and because of thanks to facebook you can keep in touch you know how to use how to business get in touch with customers people also use facebook messenger okay now i'm sure a lot of people among you will be using facebook messenger worldwide 1 billion people are using messenger every month to engage their friends their families and businesses okay so as a business you can use messenger to stay in touch with your customers okay so understand this thing this is from a customer relationship point of view it is very important you will see a lot of players especially in a dot com space like for example in e commerce players retail players are already using it uh very uh, new age startups are using it and even traditional companies are now using messenger to stay in touch with their customers now how to connect you know uh how to connect through messenger how will customers find you via messenger now there are two ways okay one is messenger link okay they you give a messenger link of yourself okay or there is like a barcode very similar to a barcode there will be your own messenger code okay now what is a messenger link messenger link is nothing but a url your business has its own link that allows customers to click once to kick a start a conversation uh, use your messenger link to make offline offline to online communication easier okay if you display this link anyone can come to that and uh, use that now for example if you want to if you want to reach out to coupon hippo this is the m.me/couponhippo is the messenger link okay now messenger link all can uh, apart from a so moment you put this link you will start interacting with coupon hippo okay now in the right side this is something called messenger coupon hippo uh, messenger code okay this is like a barcode which is there uh, okay so let's move on and understand where you can find your messenger link when you go into your page and hover over your message section okay in the drop down menu you will get a copy messenger link okay and you do that and a pop up will appear and you'll see your link in the bottom of the right corner there it is this is the link okay okay you it will be automatically copied in your clipboard okay and you can start sharing this immediately okay now what is a messenger code messenger code is very as i said earlier it is very similar to a qr code it is a unique code which uh, you know customer leaders can start and start having a conversation for example if you are a if you are a biscuit okay if you are a biscuit manufacturer uh, in a retail shop and customer want to interact with you if, on your packaging if you display your messenger code and if customer scans it they can start interacting with you on their itself through the messenger okay uh, so you can use a messenger link or a messenger code to make your offline to online communication easier okay how you can get uh, where you can find your messenger code you can go to your desktop page 
and go to the messages tab at the bottom of the page you'll see a code icon so they click and code will appear okay download it as a png file let me show you how to do that okay so let's go into so this is one of the dummy pages uh, over here you can see an icon button okay where you can do a response assistant a messenger code now this is my uh, code and i can download as a pixel image okay so this is so they are generating a messenger code image so i can share this image in offline for people to start a conversation with this page okay okay now what is response and assistant will come to that later okay and we will be discussing it in some time okay so now let's move on uh what are a few few pro trips okay what are the some tips to use how to make yourself more discoverable on messenger use messenger links or messenger codes in facebook post and ads for easy connection uh, very important uh, so that people can reach out to you uh, it is putting there are potential leads who are trying to reach out to you if you can uh, you know mention somewhere uh, about your links and codes you, it will help your business and add messenger links and codes to your product packaging very important so that customers know how to reach out again okay okay so let's move on uh, to now understand now that you have told your customers from where you can start your conversation that you have provided a link or uh, or, a, or a code uh, let's uh, understand messenger from a crm point of view from customer relationship point of view how will you engage a customer how will you connect them and how will you build your customer relationships with them now understand one thing in the start that facebook messenger is your free crn tool okay uh, uh, you know sometimes you need to pay a lot of money to in house in lot of companies in big companies pay a lot of money for engaging with customers on a through a tool itself but facebook messenger is free at the end of the day you can engage with your customers to build personal connections and trust you can keep track of your relationship with the customers analyze your how you are responsive how are you responding on your uh, uh, on your messenger things okay so understand one thing that facebook messenger is your free crm tool what you can do with facebook messenger you can engage with the customers to build personal connections and trust uh, you can also track what is customer how is uh, you know customer talking with you uh, how are we serving them okay and you can also analyze your customer in, uh, messenger insights to see how it is impacting my business okay uh, so that's how facebook messenger as a tool as is a tool as a free crm tool for you what are the basic features of facebook messenger okay you can instantly reply okay uh, whenever someone pings you you can instantly reply with them even if you are not available at that time you can uh, you can use saved replies you know a lot of times there will be times uh, will we will be uh, replying in a very standard form where very frequently asked questions okay so you can reply in a saved replies it, it's make make the job of of uh, you know managing your customers easier you can have an away status where if you are not available at that point of time okay uh, so uh, you can put up a st uh, status over there then there is something called responsive badge okay which is essentially about how responsive you are you as a as a business as a page okay it is somewhat very important from a customer relationship point of view and it displays on your page okay there is something called profile info of the customer which you can see okay it helps you you know uh, the this profile info of a customer helps you uh interact in a very personalized manner and then you can use notes and labels to effectively manage all the customers which you are engaging with via crm so we'll be discussing all these things all the features in detail okay so now let's start with uh conversations with an instant reply uh instant replies are nothing but the auto replies which you set in when someone is interacting with your business for the first time okay uh some of the con conversations for example uh, could be and it's like for example thanks for reaching out we are open every day from 9 to 5 pm welcome to the you know you, it could be a welcome note okay from when when someone or someone is trying to reach our business 
okay if we are trying to promote something some seasonal sale it could be a checkout or summer selection and everything so this is a very smart way of starting a conversation with a customer or a potential lead or any complaint which you're doing okay how we do that uh, you can turn on the instant replies in a uh, messaging section let me show you okay uh, if i go into the settings of a page there is something called messaging as a section okay now there is something called response assistant okay now uh, they send instant replies to anyone who messages your page just upload it now the thanks for messaging we try to be responsive so we get back to you soon you can also customize it so this is a response we are getting we can say thanks for reaching out to us we will respond to your query in next 24 hours business 24 hours you know and your ticket id is like for example you assign a query id or a ticket id as 1234 abc okay and save now this is how it will display hello i have a question and this is my reply thanks for reaching out will respond to you guys okay so this is how to use a instant reply when someone tries to reach out okay 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 so moving on uh, you can also reply with speed and ease with saved replies you know there are very frequently asked questions and you have very standard and very quick responses so that your customer is served more quickly and it makes your job you know uh, much more efficient as a social media marketing executive or you know manager so you can edit before hitting anything personal to each customer but uh, it you know it helps you being more speedy how do you do that okay let's go back and show you now, for example if this is a page over here there is a choose a saved reply okay when you are trying to hit a reply there is a choose a saved reply now for example i have created a unavailable reply okay i can quickly reply to this and send okay so i can also i can also create a more new reply for example for say reply title let's say i want to i want to create a uh, apply of say we are closed Now we can say that hi we are closed on sunday rest assured rest assured your query will be answered in the 24 hour Business class or anything like this, you know. So I can create multiple, like I can create quick replies. For example, we are closed. I can also create, you know, uh, a reply of no exchange policy or something like this. Okay. Uh, so this is a saved reply. Okay. Okay. So. So basically. how saved replies works is you you see the trends what are the queries which are coming very frequently okay and on the basis of that commonly asked questions you create and set certain saved replies which will help you being more efficient okay it will quick and easy okay now some of the for for example saved replies could be hello for that style it comes in this is this thank you i'm so sorry we are currently out of stock for that piece we'll let you know when it's available we offer free delivery for purchases of this so uh just a quick example of how you know saved replies uh helps us be more efficient okay so we have already understood the creating the saved replies uh using a saved reply how to use that we have done that okay so when you are unavailable set away images away messages sorry uh it will automatically send to the people who message your page when you are unavailable okay 
now for example thanks for uh, these are some of the examples of set away messages thanks for reaching out today's public holiday we'll get back to you tomorrow thanks for reaching out i'm on a two week holiday we'll get back to you thanks for reaching out this is available right now we'll get back to you by the afternoon now in the in the messages section you can do an away section go into the setting clicks messaging in the left column stay you know stay responsive when you can't get to your computer enter your message and click away for example let me show you now over here in the messages section of your page you set this okay and now you want a response assistant okay so i want to set up a response for away okay now this is what i do i change it and i can so this is personalized okay so you can change it also we'll get back to you to you in next 48 hours okay okay the person's first name ideally you can add wherever you want sorry okay and you save okay so this is when you are away you set that okay great so there is so next move on uh, let's move on to show how fast you respond with the responsive badge now responsive badge is the badge on your page which indicates your response rate okay response rate is what is response rate so response rate is the percentage of new messages that your page sends an initial response the first response on the date it receive it uh, response time is nothing but the average time it takes a page to send initial responses to the new messages in one day so basically it is all, always about the first response not the subsequent re response uh, the first response the follow up not about the follow up messages and if you receive messages when your status is set away responsiveness metrics will be calculated when you are back online okay when your page becomes available for messaging okay now as a snapshot stores very responsive answer 100% in 2 minutes you know uh, to have a very responsive page you need to have a at least 90% of the messages should be responded and median response time should be less than 5 minutes and this is a very dynamic feature it is calculated on a rolling last say even period so it keeps facebook keeps calculating the responsiveness of your page every 7 days okay so every rolling 7 days okay uh, then that's then something the next feature of facebook messenger uh, is about about info of a customer okay it allows you to access the details their profile it helps you deal with them in a proper manner let me show you an example uh, for example i go to the messages now you see i okay i message myself this is my page and uh, this is just a dummy page for creating a demo now this is a about section okay now it shows my you know profile currently okay i'm not good okay so this is my profile this is an about section this shows my profile okay so this is one of the features of customers about customer and you can also save notes record information their past order service preferences or other relevant info over here okay now add a note like customer id is this a b c 1 2 3 4 and product x x you know uh looking for a product product exchange so product names and you add a confirm okay. so that if you, one customer is not if one customer queue uh, you know representative is not available the next customer knows what to track so you can add the customer notes over here okay and then there is something called tag and uh, search with labels okay now what are labels labels you 
it helps you categorize things for example i want to add a label of say product exchange one could be product return product exchange so that i can learn later about them okay okay so you can also tag you can search all the messages according to the label stack okay so this is how labeling helps okay i think this exercise you need to do in your settings so what insights do you get from messenger insights okay so you can say you can uh, observe you show last 7 days shows for only if you are admin on the page okay so messenger metrics will be shown only if you are admin of the page it will show up on your uh, it will come up as a messenger if you are not admin it will just say it's a message on your page okay and if you are not a admin you won't see the percentage just that it's it's a very responsive okay so understand these technicalities of how to see the messenger insights where can you see you can see it in an insight section of your page within the messages tab okay okay uh, so now we are going to discuss messenger insights now essentially what we have learned is how to engage how to use messenger for your business to interact engage with the customers how to service them but facebook also gives you a tracking mechanism of messenger okay where you can track and learn what's happening with your messenger as a crm tool okay or how how are you how are you doing in terms of connecting with your customers okay now you can find you can uh, view the messenger metrics in the insight section okay uh, i'll show you there okay it shows for the last seven days if you are not an and shows only if you are an admin on a page okay it will show up will come as a messenger if you are not the admin okay and you won't see the percentage and you will just see it's very responsive you are a customer okay but if you are admin you will also see the percentages okay so this is how it looks in an insight section and messages let me show you an example you go this is the digital vidyas page i go into their insight section and i over here i go into the messages section and it shows you last 7 days total amount of conversations the number of conversations between your page and people on messenger in the last 7 days you can also say last 28 days you can customize it okay now your responsiveness 100% and what is the average response time okay delayed conversations if any okay now responsiveness as we discussed the percentage of messages you have answered in average response time this is a response rate and this is the average response time okay total amount of conversations deleted conversations okay deletion rate and total amount of deleted conversation marked as spam spam rate and marked as spam blocked conversations block rate and block okay so you can study through deleted conversations or marked as spam block that how our customers our customers are liking our conversations or not how is my responsiveness is studied through response rate and average response time and how am i doing how many people are reaching out to me through my messenger how am i how is the health of my messenger's popularity among my customers is the metric which is measured by total amount of conversations okay okay so that's it guys uh, so in this session what we have covered essentially is how to use facebook messenger it's a very important tool 1 billion people use it on a monthly basis okay how to use this how to make people aware about their custom link about the code messenger code how to use that for your for your business okay how to engage them how to study them okay how to track it okay what all features which you can do with with the uh, facebook messenger and uh, thank you so much from my side and i'll see you in the next session thank you